How's it going everyone? It is Panjano here and in this video we're going to be covering the proper way to install your graphics card drivers. Whether you're installing a brand new GPU, updating the graphics card drivers for a GPU you've had installed to your system for a while, or just looking to get the best settings possible to potentially fix any performance issues you could have been experiencing, this is the final video you'll ever need to watch regarding GPU drivers and how to properly install them to get the best results possible. This works on desktops, laptops, old, new, Intel, AMD, Nvidia, it does not matter. Stop paying full price for Windows today and get activated from as little as $16 using WhoKeys. Use the links in the description down below, choose from Windows 10, Windows 11 or Office Keys, add to checkout, use code PAN20 at checkout for an additional 25% off your order and to help support the channel, pay via a secure payment method including PayPal. Once purchased, your key will be available immediately, head over to activate Windows, paste the key, will then have access to all Windows features and no more watermark. The Windows 10 keys will also allow you to upgrade to Windows 11. Use the links in the description down below and a massive thanks to WhoKeys for sponsoring this video. One quick note before we jump into the video, there is nothing wrong with just heading over to your GPU driver's manufacturer website, downloading the GPU driver for your specific graphics card, and jumping into your favorite games and just playing. And that would be my recommendation for those of you on fresh Windows installs or new PCs. But where this video has its value is for those of you on a Windows installation that's getting relatively old, or for those of you that may have just applied tons of different GPU driver updates without clearing out old ones, or for those of you looking to upgrade your GPU, or potentially even change your GPU over to a different manufacturer, let's say from AMD to Nvidia, or for those that may be experiencing less than expected GPU performance, weird frame rate issues, graphical errors. This is something that I personally do every single time I update any of my GPUs, but you don't have to. Just knowing how to do this or doing it occasionally is more than enough, and it's definitely a fantastic tool to have in your toolbox in case you run into any GPU-related issues in the future, or know a friend or family member that may also have these problems. If you fit any of those, then this is the video for you. We first of all need to download the latest GPU driver we're going to be installing once we clear out the old files and driver. For those of you who are currently not not sure exactly which GPU you have installed to your system, navigate down to your taskbar, right click and select task manager. On the left hand side, navigate down to performance. With inside of here, scroll all the way down to GPU. Once you select this, you'll then find the GPU make and model in the top right hand side. Go over to your web browser. For those of you on Nvidia GPU, simply search for Nvidia drivers and head to nvidia.com or nvidia.co.uk. Navigate down to the manual driver search, select the product series, I me mean, it's an RTX 40 series. If you had a laptop, it would be under notebooks. Go to the product, for me it's going to be an RTX 4060, select your operating system, language, and select start search. Right at the top, you should have your latest game ready driver that you should be downloading. Navigate over to get download, then select download now. For those of you on AMD Radeon GPUs, head over to Google, search for AMD Radeon drivers, head over to amd.com slash support, simply scroll down, select the graphics tab. For me, I have an RX 7000 series and it's an RX 7600. I have the normal version, not the XT, select submit, scroll down, select the operating system you're using and on the right hand side, select download. And for those of you with an Intel GPU, search for Intel Arc drivers. Navigate down to the Intel Arc graphics drivers page. Navigate down to the latest WHQL certified game drivers. Download here section. Always going with the latest found at the top. Once that's been selected, navigate down to download and download the latest driver. You should then have your GPU driver, which we'll be installing later on once we've cleared out all of the old data. Next up, we need to get hold of the display driver uninstaller. This application is going to take care of all of the heavy lifting with removing the old GPU drivers from your system. Head over to Google, search for display driver uninstaller. I'm going to be going over to the official source of wagnardsoft.com. Head up to the top to softwares, then go to display driver uninstaller. At the top, you'll find the latest available version, then scroll down slightly once again until you find the option to click here for download and support. Scroll down once again on this page where you can either get the installer version or the portable version if you don't want anything installed to your system. Both versions work fine. Once downloaded, open the file. Select next, agree, next and install. Before we jump in and use DDU, if you happen to have opened it, you will more than likely be notified that it's recommended to use this in safe mode. Booting into safe mode means that your system will use the default Windows display driver rather than your current GPU's driver, allowing the application to go in and remove the old GPU driver because it's no longer in use. All you need to do is find the left shift key on your keyboard, press and hold shift. Whilst holding shift, navigate down to the Windows button, go down to the right to the power button, right click, 
and select restart. Still continue to hold down the shift key. Once inside of here, head over to troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings, and select restart. We're going to be using option number four, so press number four on your keyboard. Log in as you typically would. You'll then need to open DDU. Once DDU is open, the first thing we need to do is navigate to the right hand side to select device type. We're going to be selecting GPU. Underneath this, you'll then need to select the model of the GPU you currently have installed. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU installed, select NVIDIA. Same thing goes with AMD Radeon or Intel. Once your GPU has been selected, on the left hand side, the only two options we're going to be interested in are clean and restart or clean and shut down. Clean and shut down should be used if you are installing a new GPU. If the GPU you're currently using is installed to your system and you have a new one in the box ready to go in, you would select clean and shut down. Once the PC shuts down, turn off the power at the back, unplug the old GPU, put the new GPU in, even if it's from a different brand, let's say you're going from Nvidia to AMD or AMD to Intel, make sure it's plugged in and secured with all power connectors and please double check that your power supply actually supports your new GPU because your new GPU could be demanding more power, so just make sure that you have checked that. If like many of you watching this, you are not installing a new GPU, you just want to remove the old drivers from your current one to install new drivers, then you would select the clean and restart option, which will mean that DDU will work its magic, your system will automatically restart and boot you back into normal non-safe mode windows ready to install your new driver. I'll be going with clean and restart. Once you select this, this could take anywhere from 10 seconds all the way up to 2 minutes depending on the speed of your system, but this will automatically restart or shut down your PC depending on which option you chose. Once you're back on the desktop, head to your download section or wherever you downloaded the new GPU driver you're going to be installing. So whether it's an Intel driver, AMD driver or Nvidia driver, select the driver you downloaded at the beginning of this video. For Nvidia users, Users, you'll be met with this page, select OK. It's worthwhile noting that during the installation process of your NVIDIA driver, this could eventually change in the near future because NVIDIA is updating to their new NVIDIA app. Most of the settings and options available throughout the driver installation process should be the same, but don't be alarmed if the UI or layout looks slightly different when you go to install the driver because they may or may not have updated to a newer looking system just to make the driver process more in line with the NVIDIA app. You'll then be given two different options. Install the NVIDIA graphics driver with the GeForce experience or just install the graphics driver. Driver. I'd recommend going with Express under these circumstances because there is no old driver so there's no need to customize the driver installation. So just press next. Once the driver installation finishes, the flickering and changing of resolution will stop. Once completed, select close. In some cases, you may be recommended to restart your system and that's definitely recommended to do. But what about for those of you on AMD Radeon GPUs? Double click on the GPU you downloaded earlier. And this is where you have some really useful features. First of all, you can select the option to allow or disallow to collect information. Then go to additional options. This is where you have access to the full installation, minimal installation or driver only. All three of these options are fantastic and are definitely worthwhile selecting what matches your personal preference. If you're someone that never opens the control panel or isn't looking to record videos using the built-in software, then the minimal install may be more ideal for you. Once you've selected the option you're going to be going with, go to the bottom right hand side and select install. For those of you on Intel drivers, head over to the Intel driver you downloaded earlier, run through the installation process, you can further customize the install Installation, you can select the options which best stand out to you in your personal preference, run through the setup and restart your system. Now, regardless of what sort of system you're on, desktop, laptop, Intel, AMD, or Nvidia, here are a few very basic quick settings you need to make sure that you at least double check to ensure that you're actually getting the most out of your monitor. Right click on the desktop, heading to display settings. Navigate down to advanced display. Start by selecting your main monitor and you want to make sure that your choose refresh rate has been set to the highest available. You would then also want to go back to the display options, go to display resolution and select the recommended or highest available resolution, again to ensure that your monitor is actually getting the native refresh rate and resolution for it. A few last adjustments or optimizations I would highly recommend that you at least check on your system or potentially even adjust is to 1. Enable resizable bar support if your motherboard, CPU and GPU support it. There is a video guide on this linked in the description down below alongside tons of other GPU optimizations you can look into. Resizable bar support on some games could give up to a 15% performance increase, completely free of charge that's there and waiting for you to turn it on, but in many cases is not automatically enabled. Regardless of the GPU you're running on, whether it's a desktop or a laptop, it's definitely worthwhile at least jumping into the Nvidia or AMD Radeon settings to see what options are available with inside of there. There is so much that you can do with inside of these drivers, especially with AMDs, and if you'd like to learn more about which options you should use or a full rundown of all of the settings available and what I would recommend, 
end, you can also check out video guides linked in the description down below for the NVIDIA control panel and the AMD Radeon panel. Let me know if your results, questions, queries, or if you ended up upgrading to a different GPU in that comment section down below, as it's always fantastic to hear from you guys. You can find a ton of different videos linked in the description down below under the playlist section. Alternatively, if you're not entirely sure where to go next, but enjoy content like this, check out one of the two videos on screen now, and I'll see you guys over there.